Hi everyone, it's Az here from Heel vs. Babyface, the CW. Oh, no, 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 no. We've had a lot of fun with that station over the course of the last few years. Why? Because they've been pumping out absolute woke garbage trash that nobody's watching. The proverbial nobody's watching. The ratings on the shows are catastrophically low. And uh, we've seen shows already like Batwoman come and go. We've seen the former head, Mark Pedowitz. What an apt name for somebody in that line of work. Uh, pushing their not-so-secret gay agenda, pushing their wokeisms. The, the network has been an absolute disaster. And even though I know full well that I am an old out of touch white man <laughs> i know that these shows aren't made for me doesn't stop me from poking fun and laughing at them but unfortunately the tiger audience that they want to attract aren't tuning in either because oh, <laughs> studio heads people who run companies directors showrunners we have shown, uh, we have seen over the last few years uh, an absolutely unapologetically um, unself aware display from these people that they think you're stupid. They think you're dumb, stupid, you are sheep, you are consumed. As. And nothing more. They don't treat you like customers. They don't treat you like valued personnel anymore. You are nothing to them but a number. You are nothing to them than something to ram in front of an advertiser. You are nothing to them other than somebody to try and push their propaganda to. So with that said, let's get into the meat and potatoes of the video. The CW, this is coming from TV Insider, which is coming from Variety. And I read the Variety article, and I actually, believe it or not, prefer the TV Insider one. Because uh, Variety, as we all know now, is a, is a bastion of um, objectivity. <laughs> it's, uh, it's not. It's really not. Sorry, I'm adjusting my little camera poo here. There we go. The CW will only carry over a minimal number of shows into fall 2023, say, Nexstar. So Nexstar are the company that took over the CW when it put itself up for sale. And I, and I put sale in air quotes because they had approximately $100 million worth of debt. And they gave, gave 75% of control to Nexstar essentially operating control if they would take on <clears throat> a large proportion of that debt so that's one way to to sell a network these the network hadn't been profitable according to them forever well probably since season four or five of smallville but there again that was under a complete that wasn't under the cw then it was under a different banner then who knows the CW programming slate will look very different from the 2023-2024 season. While the lineup is set for the current 2022-23 season uh, and will be similar to what it's been in recent years, things will change after that. Now, get a load of this. Over the course, this is quote, over the course of the next year, we're really looking to develop our, sl to develop our slate which will then come online in 2023-2024 broadcast season. Next star, Executive Vice President and Chief Financial Officer, Leanne Gilla, said during an earnings call via Variety, quote, we will have some carryover commitment for the CBS and the WBD programming in that year, but... It's minimal at that point. While Nexstar CEO Perry Sook had said that former parent companies Paramount Global and Warner Brothers Discovery can offer up programming, they're going to be looking at the numbers, quote again, 
and there may be, may, emphasis on may, be a couple of shows that distinguish themselves, don't hold your breath, that we want to hold over into next year. It's been previously reported since Nextstar acquired 75% ownership of the CW that freshman series Walker Independence, which is a prequel to Walker, which is a reboot of Walker, Texas Ranger. I think I've got that right. And The Winchesters, which is a prequel to Supernatural, which did cause a bit of a kerfuffle between uh, Jensen Ackles and uh, Jared Padalecki. I think I've mentioned that in another video. Will not be receiving additional episode orders for their first seasons. Both will have 13 episodes total. Now, hold on to that, because we're going to see that come back in a moment. So they're both sequel shows to former characters from Supernatural, even though, because Jared Padalecki plays Walker in Walker. But already, before the shows have even started, you're getting half a season. That's it. And not a full season. And some people have been um, incorrectly reporting that Quantum Leap, the new reboot of quantum leap has been picked up for a second series wrong uh it's been picked up for a full season order again that show was only meant to have 12 13 episodes first season just uh and then if they like the way that the show is doing and ironically the show's doing absolutely terribly uh they can order a full season and that's what they've done so it hasn't it hasn't not to say that it won't, but it hasn't yet been renewed for a season two. Both of uh, both the spin-offs of the established CW hit Walker and Supernatural as I've gone into. After the 2022-23 season, it sounds like uh, likely that most of the shows that haven't had final seasons announced, those two, five those two, five returning for this year, Walker, Superman and Lois, all-American, All-American Homecoming and Kung Fu, and one new mid-season one, Gotham Knights, we know about Gotham Knights, won't be back. So going back, Gotham Knights is coming in at a mid-season 13-episode uh, order, I believe. Maybe even less than 13, but up to 13. Uh, kind of like Naomi. Naomi was in and gone, and that was just absolute dog shit in itself. But it looks like uh, final seasons for Walker, Superman and Lois, All-American, All-American Homecoming and Kung Fu. Ouchies. Riverdale and The Flash's final season uh, were both announced before Next Star's acquisition. They're both part of the mid-season lineup. Since the acquisition, the final seasons for Nancy Drew... And Stargirl uh, were also announced. According to Sook, they're aiming for a broader audience. What a surprise. Pedowitz didn't. Sook does. With both scripted and unscripted programming. Uh, and on the unscripted side, whose line is it anyway, will reportedly be ending after its 12th season. Uh, in January, we shoot our final season, said original star Colin uh, Mockery. So it looks like Next Star are done, are basically done with this, this Paramount and uh, Warner Brothers shite. Uh, Gotham Knights looks like it's going to come for half a season and go. Uh, Superman and Lois, which I think's taken its third season, maybe fourth season. Uh, gone. Walker is going to go. Uh, Walker Independence and the Winchesters, half season's orders, and then probably gone. It looks like Next Star have definitely big plans uh, for the network, and they don't involve the dross that we have had up to today. The absolute mitigated shite. And whose fault is that? Well, Clearly by the fact that they pushed themselves $100 million into debt 
uh, clearly by the fact that they lost uh, what was a good target audience for them. Uh, judging by the fact that they tried to push agendas instead of entertain, the only fault it lays out is the CW itself and Mark Pedowitz. I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye for now.